This is News 3 Now at Noon. Good afternoon, I'm Mark Kane. Thanks for joining us on News 3 Noon on this Friday edition. Let's head to the Weather Center. Meteorologist Chris Reese has a look at your first warned forecast. Hi, Chris. Good afternoon, Mark. It's definitely a different day out there now as opposed to yesterday. We had a lot of the low clouds, the fog and the drizzle. Now it's the sunshine, but temperatures are certainly going to be at least somewhat cooler than they were at this time yesterday. In Madison, that's a seven degree temperature change and 11 degree temperature change as you look out towards northeastern Iowa. But folks, this is with out the cloud cover that typically keeps things a little bit cooler. We're at 39 right now, 43 in Janesville, 34 as you work your way over towards Viroqua. Those winds are coming out of the west and northwest at this time. And at nine miles per hour here, but sustained winds are around 25 miles per hour in Monroe, 18 miles per hour in Janesville. But with that sunshine, of course, Doppler track is free of the rain for us. So that's certainly some good news. But we're going to be paying attention to this next system that you start to see developing over parts of the central plains. That'll be bringing more cloud cover our direction along with the chance of flurry south of Madison as we move into your Saturday. We'll also talk about the sunshine next week and when we could see the next chance for rain and storms coming up around 1220. All right, we'll see you then. Thank you, Chris. First this afternoon, breaking news from the Channel 3000 Alert Center. A spokesperson says there is a confirmed coronavirus case at Kuman Math and Reading Center in Sun Prairie. Families have been notified and the center is closed for the next two weeks. A spokesperson says they are following CDC guidelines and are working with the local health board for assistance. The WIAA announced late last night that they are canceling all remaining state tournaments in response to the spread of the virus. That includes the remaining games for state girls basketball and boys basketball sectional finals and the boys state tournament yesterday uw madison police announced that they would not host boys state scheduled to start next thursday tickets for state tournaments will be refunded in full fans are asked to wait two weeks for the refund before calling the wiaa office the overture center has announced they're canceling forward theater companies production of the amateurs and the mad hatters acapella spring 2020 concert officials say they're in active communication with producing partners about the next steps to take ticket buyers will be notified if there are any other changes. More than 400 new cases of coronavirus have been confirmed in the U.S., bringing the total to more than 1,700. 42 people have died. The rapid spread of the virus has prompted millions of Americans to withdraw from public gatherings, including work and school. Skylar Henry is at the White House with the latest and the government's response. School is canceled in districts across America, including every school in at least five states. Just unsettling, just I'm trying to stay calm. And millions across the country are working from home today as Americans implement social distancing to stem the spread of coronavirus. We've had our normal conference calls, our work going on, um, your typical day-to-day -day work life. Um, you just typically spend it over video chat or uh, phone calls rather than face-to-face. -face. The Masters is the latest sporting event to delay or cancel. Broadway shows and even Disney have also closed their doors. With regard to disruption, of everyday life, we have not seen that before, but we've not had this kind of a situation before. The White House announced today it is cutting some regulations to allow private companies to deliver coronavirus test kits more quickly. The kinds of tests from the commercial sector that would be available, readily available, is really very, very close right now, very close. The White House and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi say they're close to a deal which would provide free testing for coronavirus and paid sick leave, as well as bailouts for businesses both big and small. We're going to go to Congress and ask for a very significant increase in SBA lending authority. I've spoken to the Speaker about it. Uh, I've spoken to the Speaker and, and Mitch McConnell and Kevin McCarthy and the President about airlines. That's something you can expect we'll deal with quickly. That news was mutual music to Wall Street's ears. At the opening, the market rebounded from yesterday's biggest one-day percentage drop since 1987. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. And former Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker is under self-quarantine. A statement from his spokesperson says he attended a conference at the end of February in Maryland and spoke with someone who tested positive for coronavirus. As a precaution, Walker canceled his events and has been staying home. The spokesperson says it's been two weeks since that conference and today should be Walker's last day under quarantine. New at noon, a spokesperson for Senator Ron Johnson says he is consulting with doctors about the need to self-quarantine, but he is reportedly feeling healthy and well. This comes 
after he met with a member of the Spanish Parliament earlier this month who has tested positive for coronavirus. UW Health says that they are only testing people for the virus if they have symptoms such as fever, cough, and shortness of breath. They're also prioritizing testing to those who have medical vulnerabilities like transplants, heart disease, lung disease, cancer, or diabetes, and those who are above the age of 60. Travel history is still a consideration both internationally and in the U.S. where there is community spread of the disease. UW Health says the best way to determine if you should get tested is to call ahead. Unity Point Health Meritor has new visitor restrictions in response to the coronavirus. According to a release, only two parents are allowed in neonative intensive care unit. In all other rooms of the hospital, only one visitor or support person is allowed per room. Officials say to only visit the hospital if you're in good health, which means no fever, runny nose, or cough in the last seven days. Workers at arenas and stadiums all across the country suddenly have little or no income due to sports cancellations. In Milwaukee, Lena Nearwriter is at home instead of at work at Pfizer Forum, and she doesn't know when she'll be going back. The Milwaukee mom is a bartender mainly for Bucks games, and with the M MLB delaying the start of the season, Miller Park employees are also scrambling. You're working for cash tips and credit card tips, and with it being shut down, I mean, I mean, yeah, the hourly is okay, but you really are banking on your tips and if we don't have games we don't have tips. By this time of year when I haven't worked a baseball game in about five months I'm a little bit tight on cash and so I am expecting for the brewer season to start up so I can start paying my bills again and saving up. Many will have to look for new jobs. The Brewers and Bucks did not respond to inquiries about whether they would be paying service workers while seasons are delayed or suspended. New at Noon Charter says it's expanding broadband internet and Wi-Fi access to households with K-12 through or college students who may have to stay home due to the coronavirus. For any of those households that don't have Spectrum access, you can get free service for 60 days. You can enroll by calling the number there on your screen. And breaking news from the Channel 3000 Alert Center, Dane County investigators are on the scene of a fatal crash in Windsor. This happened at County Highway C and Windsor Road. One person is dead, another is critically injured. We have a crew on the way, and we will have updates on Channel3000.com. And there's more to come on News 3 Now at noon. I'm next, we'll see what Howard's working on in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. Today, we're making a from scratch diner style coconut cream pie. That's so good, you won't be able to contain your excitement. Don't miss the Smith Brothers factory authorized sale on now. Select from many styles on our showroom floor or custom order the Amish crafted sofa just right for you. Save big on quality Smith Brothers furniture. At Wanakee Furniture ETC. The funeral is the start of the healing process. It's not the end. While the death of someone you love is painful, not experiencing it, not sharing that pain, ends up in the long run being more painful. And it's, it's all about doing something to help ourselves heal. Cress Funeral and Cremation Service. We are the hand on your shoulder to graciously help you through these tough times. Hi, I'm Brian from McGann Furniture in Baraboo. At McGann's, our number one priority is treating our customers right. We want your shopping experience to be fun and informative so you have all the information you need to make smart choices. We're shoppers too, and we believe in treating our guests like family. We always have and always will. Discover the difference at McGann Furniture in downtown Baraboo. You'll be so glad you did. It's time to hit the gas and head to Toyota's Ready, Set, Go sales event. It's on now at East Madison Toyota. Every new pre-owned and certified pre-owned Toyota in stock. A giant selection to choose from. All on sale at East Madison Toyota with Ready, Set, Go sales event pricing. Don't miss this at the number one Toyota certified pre-owned dealer in Wisconsin. East Madison Toyota. Conveniently located off I-90 and 151. My Johnsonville commercial, they open on a game show set in the 70s. Today we got Johnsonville smoked sausage made with 100% premium pork. Some brands mix meats and add fillers, but not Johnsonville. Contestant number one bids the closest, so he wins a boat. And he says, I don't want that boat. I want the sausage. What if I told you that boat is filled with Johnsonville smoked sausage? And that's a smoked sausage commercial made the Johnsonville way. Are you the kind of woman who puts everyone else first? 
But what about you? Our OBGYN team at Associated Physicians wants you to know that we are here to focus on you. Call us for an appointment today at 233-9746. Don't miss the Smith Brothers factory authorized sale on now. Select from many styles on our showroom floor or custom order the Amish crafted sofa just right for you. Save big on quality Smith Brothers furniture. At Wanakee Furniture ETC. If you've ever had a slice of a really good pie at a diner, get your taste buds ready for a real treat. Because today, we're making a from-scratch diner-style coconut cream pie that's so good you won't be able to contain your excitement. And did I mention it's easy, too? To make it, all we do is combine some milk, a few eggs, a good amount of coconut, and some sugar in a saucepan. That's the stuff that's going to make this pie crazy delicious. To that, we add a bit of flour, butter, vanilla, a pinch of salt, and we cook this over medium heat until it thickens up. Once it does, we pour it into a pie crust that we just baked and into the fridge it goes to chill. When it cools, we'll top it with whipped cream and toasted coconut, and it's done. One bite of the homemade filling sandwiched between the creamy whipped topping and the flaky pie crust, and nothing else will matter. To get the recipe for our coconut cream pie, all you need to do is go to our website. You might even want to print out a few extra copies while you're online, because there's a pretty good chance that anyone who tries this will want to get a copy for themselves. I'm Howard with Kelly in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a super creamy and coconutty way for you to say, mm. ooh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. Next to noon, sunny, but a bit colder today. Pretty chilly this weekend as well. Chris has your first warm forecast next. Celebrate Ashley Home Store's 75th anniversary with the ultimate mattress sale. Shop doorbusters, including our best deal ever on Beautyrest mattresses, plus no interest financing for up to 75 months, and a free adjustable base upgrade with select purchases. Ashley Home Store. This is home. Don't wait until the weekend to enjoy a thick charbroil steak made to your liking. Make a weeknight steak night at High Point Steakhouse, Southern Wisconsin's premier supper club. Well worth the short drive to Ridgeway. You wouldn't pour OJ this way. And you don't have to pour paint this way either. Try Dutch Boy Platinum Plus Paint in the Twist and Pour container with a built-in spout. Easy to hold, open, and pour. <sighs> Only at Menards. Dutch Boy Paints make transforming your world easy. If a physical or emotional condition keeps you from working, Social Security should pay disability benefits. Often it doesn't, and deserving people are denied. I'm attorney Don Becker. Don't give up. In Wisconsin, we've turned thousands of disability denials into approvals. Disability law is all we do. Call the Becker Law Office, 1-800-254-7766. If a wedding or special event is in your future, consider the new Grand Ballroom at High Point Steakhouse. With panoramic driftless area views and an award-winning custom menu, it's the perfect choice for the perfect wedding or banquet. The Grand Ballroom at High Point Steakhouse. Wisconsin's best appliance deals are available now during the Ultimate Sale at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Find huge savings up to 50% off appliances from the Ultimate Brands and finance your purchase interest-free until fall. Only at Furniture and Appliance Mart inside Ashley Home Store off the Beltline. News 3 Now. Now the state hygiene lab here can do its own testing. Providing you with the facts. Coronavirus has a much higher mortality rate than influenza. About how the coronavirus outbreak is impacting our community. It's changing travel schedules and some employees are working virtually to stay safe. It's almost impossible to find this in stores. You can actually make this at home. I think that we're going to find more cases because we're doing a better job of surveillance. For more local stories that impact your life, News 3 Now. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. 
We have breaking news into the Channel 3000 Alert Center. The Wisconsin Department of Justice is temporarily suspending all visits to prisons, including volunteer visits due to coronavirus. A statement says that they take the responsibility to protect staff and persons in their care very seriously. Several other state correctional agencies in the Midwest have made similar decisions. Officials say they'll be actively looking to expand methods of communication during the time that visits are suspended. Well, a bit of optimism on Wall Street as lawmakers near an economic relief deal. Diane King Hall has your Money Watch report. A day after all the major averages officially entered a bear market, investors decided to scoop up some beaten up shares at the open. Wall Street received a hint of optimism on news. U.S. lawmakers and the White House are nearing an economic relief deal over the coronavirus pandemic. But stocks are still suffering the worst week since the 2008 financial crisis. Airline shares regained some ground in early trade, but U.S. air carriers are rushing to cut flights in the wake of President Trump. Trump's Europe travel ban. American and United Airlines say they will continue normal flights for the next week, but will be reducing flights to Europe by about 50% in April. American also says it plans to cut international flights by more than a third for the summer travel season. And Delta says it plans to significantly reduce its U.S. to Europe schedule after Sunday. And that's your CBS Money Watch report. For more, head to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the New York Stock Exchange, I'm Diane King Hall. Diane, thank you. Let's check the numbers at the noon hour. The Dow Industrials up 578 points. The NASDAQ up 194. The S&P 500 up 74. Nice to see things going up for a change. Let's check in now with Q106 Farm Director Pam Yonke. And I can mirror some of that positive territory, at least as far as corn and wheat is concerned on the midday mark. Uh, COVID-19 definitely making its presence felt in Wisconsin agriculture. Yesterday, uh, one of our spring farm shows announced that they are canceling. The WPS farm show that's held at the EAA grounds in Oshkosh has decided that they are going to cancel for the 2020 season. I also spoke this morning with Shelly Meyer, who is the executive director of Professional Dairy Producers of Wisconsin. They've got their annual business meeting scheduled for next week here in Madison at the Alliant Energy Center that would normally draw more than a thousand dairy producers and agribusiness partners from around the upper Midwest. But because many of the agribusinesses that participate in the trade show have uh, put on special restrictions as far as travel, professional dairy producers will go virtually online with all of their presentations. They're still trying to work out logistics on exactly how you can do that because they did have live animal demonstrations they were going to work on, but they should have details released on that front part of next week. Uh, Shelly tells me that you can still register for the conference if you want to get the online information pdpw.org but another sign of how COVID-19 is impacting Wisconsin agriculture. The big question also I'm getting, uh, will this impact our animals? Uh, the chief of the Veterinary Medicine Association uh, nationally said that uh, we're learning a lot about COVID-19 right now. Uh, there are four different types of coronavirus that they're investigating. Some can impact uh, birds, some can impact mammals. She said the best advice they can give farmers right now if you're handling livestock is make sure that you've got good biosecurity practices in place. Barrel cheese today up a penny at $1.50. 40 pound block cheese finishes the week up six and a quarter at 187 and a quarter. Well, double A butter was unchanged today, Mark, at 181 and a quarter. So it looks like everybody's singing from the same hymnal today. COVID 19 is making its presence felt on the calendar. Yeah, it really is. And what a week it's been. Take mm -hmm. a breath this weekend, I guess. Thank yeah, you, Pam. Right. And here is Chris now with that weekend forecast. Yeah, that's right. Things are a little bit cooler out there today. That's after we had a cold front that moved through the area yesterday. There's still a secondary cold front that's coming through right now. That's going to keep the northerly wind in play, but it keeps the air dry enough that we keep the sunshine around as we go through at least the rest of today. We're going to see that cloud cover start to stream in because the next system that will impact parts of the Midwest is already starting to form across parts of Colorado, Kansas, and Nebraska, and a lot of this is going to be a heavy snowmaker for that part of the country, but it should miss us to the south. So that'll be good news as we head into the weekend, though we'll see the cloud cover associated with it. Clear skies out there right now. High resolution Doppler does continue to come in with a clean sweep. You only have those high, thin clouds as you look out over the Edgewater Sky Camera. That's allowed the temperature to warm up to 39 degrees, which is coming out of the west at 9 miles per hour. So when you catch the breeze, the wind chill is down around 33, but it still feels above 
freezing. So that's certainly good news. 43 in Janesville right now. We're also seeing 40s over in Plainsville, Prairie du Chien. I'm sorry, Platteville, Prairie du Chien, along with Boscobel as well. Viroqua a little bit colder into the mid 30s, but we'll all see these temperatures begin to warm up at least a tad bit more as we head into the afternoon. Look for a high right around 42 in Madison, perhaps a couple degrees warmer as you work your way closer towards the state line. Here comes that cloud cover moving in as we go through the overnight hours. We'll see those temperatures around 29 degrees, but I want to point out something. Let's go ahead and show you Lake Michigan. At this time of the year, Lake Michigan oftentimes is a little bit colder than the land, so that means drier air starts to work in, and that's what's going to work in our favor as we go towards the weekend. So that system starts to arrive from the south and west. Notice our winds are coming from the north and east, right off of Lake Michigan. So while yes, temperatures at 1030 in the morning are still below freezing tomorrow, that keeps the air dry enough that the precipitation from the south and west never makes it in. That works in our favor tomorrow. Look for a high right around 35 degrees for your Saturday. Plenty of cloud cover sticks around. That clears out into the afternoon. We'll see those overnight lows Saturday into Sunday falling down to about 24. With that, warmer air does return at least somewhat as we move into your Sunday. Now, if you're going to be traveling as we go throughout the weekend, here's the system. You see it coming our way. Remember that drier air coming in from the north and west. This is Saturday morning. If you're traveling to Illinois, Des Moines, Omaha, do know that you may run into some snow, but just like that, the drier air winds over. That system falls apart. We start to get more moisture in our air by the time we get you towards Tuesday, so we'll see just a little bit of a rain chance there. And the bigger moisture arrives by the time we get you towards the end of the week. So this is Thursday into Thursday afternoon. We'll see a chance for some heavier rain joining the picture at this point. That may also come with some thunderstorms, but it also brings warmer temperatures. 56 for your Wednesday, 54 for Thursday. By Friday, we will see temperatures up near 60 degrees once again, but what goes up must come down. There's a cold front coming our direction by Friday, so we'll be in the 40s for next weekend. It's that time of year. It is that time of the year. By the way, official spring starts Friday next oh, week. Can't so wait. We'll be here. We made it. <laughs> we made it. Yes, All we right. did. Next to noon, a California couple sees a bicycl bicyclist collapse and goes out of their way to try to save a stranger's life. That's next. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. When being sick isn't as bad as not knowing why you're sick. When questions lead to confusion. And angst and anxiety. When it feels like there's a tiger chasing you into the darkness. And all you want is a little light. A little hope. This is when you need the best of the best. Doctors who don't just perform cutting-edge procedures and treatments. Doctors who invent them. UW Health. Remarkable medicine. Remarkable care. Uncle Joey sent you this. <laughs> During Steinhoffel's employee family price sale, everyone gets the employee discount. You have got to tell her. Mmm. Mmm. Steinhoffel's Employee Family Price Sale, where everyone pays what we pay. Get 40% off on the largest selection of the best brands at the best prices. Steinhoffel's Employee Family Price Sale ends Saturday. Tell her next week. Yeah, next week. Mm -hmm. This March, April, and May, Diamond Joe Casino brings you the giveaway of your dreams with our Be Connected Dream Big Giveaway. In addition to giving away once-in-a-lifetime gifts, trips, and cash, we've got $100,000 in progressive jackpots up for grabs. Anyone playing with their Be Connected card could win big March through May during Diamond Joe Casino's Dream Big Giveaway. So don't sleep on it. He beat me with a bat, dumped me in a garbage can, left me to die in a freezing cold storage locker. When I was rescued, I thought my ordeal was over, but I was wrong. The legal system sometimes made me feel like a victim all over again, like my voice didn't matter. Marcy's Law gives crime victims equal rights, ensuring their voices are always heard. Anyone can be a victim. Please vote yes on additional rights for crime victims. 
celebrate Ashley Home Store's 75th anniversary with the ultimate sale. We're throwing the ultimate party so you can save up to 55% off dozens of doorbusters throughout the store, including living rooms, bedrooms, and more. Then get the ultimate party favor. Take an additional 10% off our sale prices, plus three years financing with no interest charges. Plus, save big on sleep with the very best mattress deals on the best brands. Ultimate deals, ultimate selection, ultimate style. Only at Ashley Home Store. This is home. An act of kindness that saved a man's life. A California couple saw a bicyclist collapse and stopped to help. Kay Rossiti has the details. A routine errand turned into a dramatic rescue here on Rosenberg Avenue. Stoney Hughes and her partner Daniel Ward say they saw a bicyclist collapse here weeks ago. I work with kids that could possibly have a seizure, so... It's really scary to actually see it in person. Daniel says he pulled over, rushed over to the stranger's side while Stoney dialed 911. The only thing I had in my head at that point was just to be there for him. The couple says the man seized at least four times. Daniel held a man in his arms before EMTs took over. The pair says they helplessly watched as crews tried to revive the stranger. Held his hand just and held him. I didn't care that I got his blood on me. It was just be there for somebody as they're in pain. 30 minutes later, they had no choice but to leave, left to wonder. I honestly thought he was gone and he thought he was gone and we just, we didn't know. The couple says they were broken hearted for days, thinking that the man they tried to help had died. So they turned to social media, thinking that they could at least attend the man's funeral, find his family, pay their respects. Instead, they got some unlikely but welcome news. To be able to know that he really, he made it, you know, and he made it and that he was there with him that whole time. This turn of events is especially meaningful for Daniel. Daniel says his brother suffered a seizure two years ago, but with no one around to help, his brother died. The thing I could think of for this guy is just be there for him because I know we was there for my little brother. The stranger the couple helped is no longer a stranger. Sony says they have since visited the man in the hospital. As soon as we walked in the door, like he knew who we were and he was like, you were the people that saved my life. There's some good people in the world, and that's for sure. All right, here's Chris. One final check of the forecast. Yeah, we're looking at these warmer than normal temperatures sticking around really for the next six to ten days, Mark, especially throughout the southeastern part of the country. That does include Madison, but we are also likely to be more active than normal as we go through the next six to ten days. Those rain chances do arrive, particularly by the time we get you towards next week. We're looking at heavy rainmakers arriving late Wednesday throughout Thursday and Friday, coming to an end on Saturday, potentially as a mix as some colder air filters in. In the meantime, look for the clouds around this Saturday with the chance of flurries south of Madison. We'll see temperatures close to 40 for Sunday with plenty of sunshine. We bounce back to the 50s early next week. All right. Thank you, Chris. Thanks for watching this afternoon. We'll be back at 4 o'clock. In the meantime, stay well. Have a great afternoon. Now, a WISC-TV editorial with editorial director Neil Heinen. Admit it, you were in the grocery store today. Woodman's on the west side around 1230 or so. I was there then, and I swear I saw most of you. I've never seen so many shopping carts filled with toilet paper. Every checkout line was at least 10 carts deep. What I found rather reassuring was the number of people talking to each other, making jokes mostly at their own expense. We're all trying to do the right things. We're all trying to make sense of this. Governor Evers' declaration of a public health emergency was galvanizing as well. It is now, as the governor said, all hands on deck. The Department of Health Services can now tap into additional resources and support local health departments. The National Guard is ready to help. We may not be together physically as much for a while, but it's good to know we're in this together.